Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have to mention to you guys that I've been battling with the worst sinus infection ever. So if my voice goes funny or if I start coughing, just bear with me. Um, obviously, if it gets very bad, I'll have to stop the videos completely. But <clears throat> see, I'm already battling. But I really want to try to not stop in between and just keep filming throughout because I feel like the interruptions mess with the energy of the overall reading. So I just want to say that I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. And today's video will be a general reading for Facebook friend who has also had some swimming lessons with me. So for those of you who don't know, I actually am a swimming instructor. So I teach kids and adults to swim and I work for a company. I don't work for myself. So the person that I'm doing this reading for is a Libra, as much as I remember. Just so that we know when his card shows up, so we can see where he is in the reading. All right, so we have first the Knight of Wands reversed. I think let's get the cards out first and then I'll explain them again in part we will clarify what. So by the way, my sinus infection just started when I when I went back to work at the beginning of the month, which was like, well, my first day back at work was Thursday. So this infection just flared up because of the chlorine and the chemicals and everything. It just was a bit much for me because we had a two month winter break. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Hermit. Interesting. All right, King of Wands. And then I'll take Five of Pentacles. Okay, Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, I'll have to take these two because they both want to come out. Alright, the Sun with the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the High Priestess, so although this person that I'm doing the reading for is not a complete stranger to me, it makes it a bit more tricky that I've, I've known him for quite some time. I don't know him very well. Like I said, I've had some swimming lessons. He's had some swimming lessons with me. And, <clears throat> you know, you can't really deduce much of a person's personality or their personal life in a 30 minute swimming lesson but it still is very weird for me to see certain things about the person that I maybe thought were not or I don't want to say associated with him but I'm seeing him in a kind of a different way right now because of the cards all right so you have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck which is like the overall energy or the overall theme so there's a situation in your life that requires you to use your intuition or your inner guidance. The High Priestess is also the card of Taurus. I see two cards that could refer to Taurus energy. Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Of course, Queen of Pentacles could mean any earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, usually a woman, but not necessarily. Alright, so with the Knight of Wands, there's some kind of a message that came in, maybe in your recent past, or that's still coming in, that requires you to take action on a certain matter, but it's in reverse. So, it's like, there's a situation in your life that you, you're feeling like you shouldn't really take action, you shouldn't really go for it, 
you're kind of restraining yourself because you know it will cause only trouble or only problems could be related to a lady not necessarily I don't know what the zodiac sign of your wife is but this is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn energy then with the Knight of Pentacles there could be an offer of money coming in or a job offer but it's very slow it's a very slow moving energy it's something that's taken a long time to actually come to fruition and it's more earth energy with the pentacles right there okay so with the hermit this could be how you're feeling at the present moment it is also the card of virgo and it speaks about feeling cut off from the world it speaks about you needing to take time off from society and that you need to spend time with yourself it ties in with the high priestess literally it could mean you've been in isolation or you're just feeling very isolated very lonely it's a very lonely energy I'm getting here which is weird because you have a family right and I don't know what is making you feel lonely but we will see in part two so king of wands could be you in this reading although you are a Libra oops bear with me king of wands could be you in this reading although you are a king of swords but it's someone who normally does take action in a certain direction someone who's not just big talk someone who actually follows through with things okay we have the five of pentacles which shows that perhaps times have been a bit tough financially but i feel like it will all get better i see you in the near future walking away from a situation though with that eight of cups because this person has turned their back on something and they're walking away I'm not sure whether it's a job or what kind of a situation it is or if you're just cutting out all your distractions and focusing on one thing or narrowing your focus down because this person has the eight cups behind them and they're now going forward in their life but it does have the moon in this card so it's kind of like there's an illusion of some kind something is hidden something hasn't been revealed yet some secrets perhaps then with the ace of cups in reverse I don't like that card being in reverse because when it's in the upright it speaks about everything going well in terms of love your cup overflowing but when it's in reverse it's like unrequited love like one-sided love or someone is giving too much of themselves and the other person is just taking and taking and not giving back someone is not meeting you halfway kind of however you do have the sun with the nine of ones which is a weird message because it seems like it's contradictory just a second <clears throat> i'm telling you i've been man down for three or four days now not entirely man down <clears throat> still went to work and I do not have COVID I don't it is simply chlorine allergies sinusitis okay <clears throat> so we have the Sun which is the card of Leo which also speaks about happiness and joy and kids that bring you joy in your life but this is also at the same time you being skeptical about happiness you're thinking is this really what's happening when is the, the bad luck going to strike again or kind of like you're expecting something bad because that person is expecting an attack on them they've got their walls up they've guarding their heart guarding themselves they're very scared that someone would take their happiness away they know that that happiness is there, but they're scared of losing it. They're on the lookout and expecting the worst, 
even though it may not even happen. And in effect, they could be jeopardizing their own happiness. <clears throat> right, we are going to do part two and clarify all these cards and see if we can get a bit more clarity on what's going on. So far, it's like a bittersweet reading. It's not negative at all. We just want to see what's going on. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for part two.